Hi guys, um, we all know, or at least I know, that every time I see a Vogue video, I sit down and watch through the whole thing, no matter who the person is. And honestly, I've had those moments where I've pretended I'm in a Vogue video, um, doing my makeup. So today is going to be a Vogue get ready with me inspired video. To start off, we are going to move my hair back. I really don't do morning skincare routine. Um, it's always nighttime routine. And we're gonna go with this cute little look today. Don't judge me. When I wake up in the morning, I just wash my face with cold water. I don't really use my, any of my products, but to start off, I'm gonna be using this soothing bio cleanser uh, to wash my face and get that started. I also just forgot I have like these pimple patches overnight that I keep on overnight so I got to take that off totally forgot and now since my face is wet it's more difficult for me to take it off especially with these nails I have on ah got it ew disgusting all right now I could finish up washing my face Uh, my skin lately has not been cooperating with me. Um, I've usually, like I said, wash my face at night and I moisturize, etc. Um, I don't know if it's working or what my skin is going through. So... I'm getting like breakouts here and there, especially like uh, hormonal breakouts on my chin. And it's literally like the worst thing ever. This moisturizer that I'm going to be using is honestly what changed my life. And no matter like any chance I get, I try to recommend it to, oh my God, I just look, I just saw how I look like. Now, usually after my face is nice and clean, I go in with this serum. It's supposed to um, lighten your face, um, like any red spots you have. And I have a lot on my side. As you can see some here, it's supposed to lighten it. I recently got this. Is it working? I don't know, <laughs> but you know, you gotta see it to believe it. One thing I hate about this is the fact that it drops down on my face and I high key want one of those, I think it, they're the gouaches, just like you'll, like I always see people going and I heard it's good for you to just like, you know, massage your face upwards. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Now I go in with the Dr. G Black Snail Cream. This is my savior. I am obsessed with this cream and I have one left apart from this one um, that I need to buy. So this is a cream I mentioned before that I really had acne prone skin. Like I had a lot on my forehead, a lot on my my uh, cheeks, and this I swear to God saved my life. I'm so happy I was like introduced to this product, and I don't know what I'll do without it. Massage. I really don't know how these women in the Vogue get ready with me, just like constantly talk. I personally don't like talking in front of the camera, but I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone. So I am here doing this. I'm going to remove this now 
because it's kind of wet in the front and I don't want that to be in my hair for a while. And I'm gonna just tie my hair up in a, um, in a little clip. This will work for now, you know, she's not perfect. She has, she's a little bit messy in the back or a lot messy in the back, but we're gonna go with it. I'm going to go in with the Iconic Age Rewind Concealer. I only use concealer. <laughs> um, I really don't use anything else on my face. Um, which, like I said, if you have any recommendations, please let a girl know. Or if you have any tutorials that you recommend I should watch, please let me know. Because I've been seeing all these people doing their makeup and they look amazing. But me, on the other hand, eh, I just do whatever I can do and whatever, yeah, literally whatever I just, I can't do, there's not much to it. Now, I use this Maybelline um, matte lipstick and I just put it along two little dots on my cheekbones. I, before I didn't do this, but now I started doing I started doing it because my my hair is red and I feel like I am way too pale most of the time. So I feel like adding this and I'm pretty sure I put too much. <laughs> but adding this kind of like evens out my um fair skin. So now I somewhat contour my face. Um, once again, I don't have like a contour brush. I usually just take this sponge and dab it along my face just a little bit. I don't want to do too much. Um, just so I can have some type of shape to my skin rather than just being this so i just go across my face and just find anything where i would like to contour and afterwards i'm gonna go in with this eyebrow pencil just my eyebrows in the bottom are like not shaped so I honestly go in and shape the little hairs myself. I just like pinch at the ends. Let's do the other side. <sighs> this lighting is not it and I'm also Sweating. I'm sweating right now. The eyeliner is done. While I let that dry, I'm just gonna be putting on this Burt's Bees Lip Shine. This is honestly disgusting. I don't like lip gloss whatsoever. Uh, I just wanted to try something new and now that I bought it, I don't wanna get rid of it because you know, money's money. And I feel like I have to use this now and finish it. Well, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, Vogue, the bootleg version of a Vogue video because we all wanna be her, we all wanna be Vogue. That is it for today's video. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. 
and I post every Wednesday if you want to see more. I'm gonna go to a different lighting and see if that helps this disaster that you're seeing. So I'm going to go take you to do see that. Oh, okay. Oof, this lighting though. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, it barely looks like I have anything on, I think. It's very minimum. Um, it is so much better. Oh my god. Mm. Bye.